name is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the Irish song, The Rose of Tralee, from the 50 Irish Melodies for All Harps book by Sylvia Woods. But before I do, I wanted to tell you that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to create several different video playlists, so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. The Rose of Tralee is a 19th century Irish ballad about a woman called Mary who because of her beauty was called the Rose of Tralee. The Rose of Tralee festival had been inspired by this ballad. The words of the song are credited to Edward Mordaunt Spencer and the music to Charles William Glover. But a story circulated in connection with the festival claims that the song was written by William Pembroke Mulchinock, a wealthy Protestant, out of love for Mary O'Connor, a poor Catholic maid in service to his parents. I will teach the easy version first, and then the advanced version. Then I'll play the easy version with all of the elements discussed, and then the advanced version. When performing this piece of music as a solo in public, it's nice to play the easy version and then immediately play the advanced version for a wonderful full-toned effect. And I'll demonstrate this as well. Hello! When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and the left hand. Then learn its hands separately and then put it hands together. And there's a brief modulation into the key of A minor that requires a G sharping lever change in the middle of the piece. Now all music tells a story and I'm not talking about the words of the song. Rather I'm speaking about the music itself. In the Rose of Tralee, the melody is in the right hand and the accompaniment is in the left hand. So make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand. In all music there's a beginning, an ending and a climax point and we'll discuss each of these elements now. In music, it's a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case the right hand notes, rise in pitch from lower notes to higher notes that the volume will increase. And when the melody notes fall in pitch, the volume will decrease. In general, the left hand of most songs will be the spot where the beat of the song manifests most strongly. In general, the first note of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good strong beat and the lower notes are emphasized slightly as well. And what this does is it causes the playing of the piece of music to have greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the melody of the Rose of Tralee. Isn't that beautiful? Now in the easy version of the Rose of Tralee, there are some broken three note and four note chords in the right hand and I just wanted to demonstrate how those fit in. The first one that happens is on the second line of the music, second bar in the right hand. And the top note of the right hand chord fits in with the left hand so it's play it from the beginning of that line. Okay, I'll do it a little faster. Hear that how that works? 
and that's how the broken three note chords in the right hand occur. Now there's a broken four note chord on the fourth line of music in the middle and that's also where it changes back, the sharping lever changes back to a G natural. And it doesn't have a left hand note with it, so it's quite easy, it's just... and that's it. Great. And this is the easy version of the Rose of Trelly. Excellent. In the advanced version of the Rose of Trilly, more notes have been added to the left hand to give a fuller sound to the piece of music, and solid and broken three and four note chords have been added to the right and left hand, and there's a brief modulation into the key of A minor that requires a G sharping lever change in the middle of the piece. I just wanted to demonstrate how the broken three and four note chords occur. In the right hand, the first one occurs right at the, the second, well, the first bar of music, complete bar of music at the beginning. And what happens is the left hand comes in with the top note of the right hand, the top of that chord. Hear it? Great. And that holds true for all of the broken three note chords. And in the left hand, we have broken three note chords. We have a beautiful rolled chord on the third line of music. And that's after the G sharping lever change. And it's a complete, complete roll. Isn't that beautiful? The way that sounds? Okay. And we have several of those complete. So that's how that works. This is the advanced version of the Rose of Trilly. solo performance version of the Rose of Trelly, starting first with the easy harp arrangement immediately followed by the advanced harp arrangement. Thank you. 
great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to create many different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.